Hello, my name is Ms. Dale, and I'll be speaking about intergenerational discipleship. Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The definition for intergenerational things happening between people of different generations. Intergenerational relationships would be relationships happening between individuals of different generations. Discipleship, it's the developmental process that progressively brings Christians from spiritual infancy to spiritual maturity, and we've heard that a lot here. Therefore, those who have grown from spiritual infancy to spiritual maturity are now equipped to begin the process with someone else. I watched this process acted out in the movie War Room. An elderly lady, Miss Clara, prayed, asking God to send her a woman to disciple. Miss Clara now, she had desired to transfer what she had learned in following Jesus to someone else. So God sends Elizabeth. A young woman, hurt, angry, and falling or crumbling under the strain of a failing marriage. As you watch their visits with one another and listen to their conversations, we witness how God's comprehensive rule over Miss Clara's life has transformed her to be more like Christ. She now believes in the power of God through prayer to change the character and conduct of Elizabeth. Elizabeth discovers she can start fighting for her family instead of fighting against them. Her attitude changes, therefore her actions change. She begins to experience the success in allowing the rule of God to transform her life and the life of her family, which is on the road to recovery. She now has been discipled and now has the tools to effectively change her world from darkness to light. The thing I most enjoyed was that this method of discipleship didn't end with a marriage being mended. The young daughter watching her mother had begun a prayer life of her own, and Miss Clara now commissions Elizabeth to seek out another woman she could disciple. Here at Epiphany Fellowship Church, we have numerous uh, generational age groups, baby boomers, ages 77 to 59, Gen X's, ages 58 to 41, Millennials, age 40 to 22, and Gen Z's, ages 21 to 11. The predominantly larger groups within our community are, of course, the Millennials with the Gen Z's following. The Baby Boomers and Gen Xers are of a smaller group, but have put their hands to the plow to do and help wherever they can. We are believing God to shift the culture within our community, to break open the closed fences that keep us only mingling among our own kind, our own age group, status, culture, and ways of seeing things. That we will be encouraged to leave our comfort zones, to look beyond the walls of our gated communities, to extend ourselves into the lives of others, not just on Sunday, but throughout the week. Some of you need discipleship. Others, mature enough, should begin to disciple. The ministries here at Epiphany are in place to prepare you and to assist you in exercising your faith. What must we do? We must seek Jesus through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to empower us to become a church not evaluated by its numbers, but by its disciple making, making people look more like Christ. Titus 2, 1 to 5 could be a ministry with mature saints modeling lives surrendered to the authority of God who are jointly doing life with the younger generation, where we collectively benefit from the gifts and talents of each generation, coming together to fellowship in physical activities, 
mentoring children and young people, assisting older saints with home repairs, men, helping young wives and mothers become more efficient in managing their homes, attend entertainment venues, in intentionally doing life more often and with a different group other than your own posse. We must go, baptized by the Spirit of God, to be identified as his own, teaching others to obey his commands, and therefore disciple. We must leave our holy huddles and take our witness into the world to share the gospel. And Christ Jesus leaves us with his promise, I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. This is Miss Dale Mobley speaking about intergenerational discipleship.